So we are in the village of Nyalubwe and we are here with a community care group which consists of both men and women, some of whom have been, have been trained on um, how to fight against malnutrition by focusing on three pillars which are uh, safe motherhood, eating six food groups for a diverse diet and also focusing on hygiene. So these women basically go from door to door visiting homes of pregnant women, breastfeeding mothers and, and homes with young children under the age of five and they advise women and counsel women on going and seeking antenatal um, checkups, getting their vaccines, getting their children vaccinated and counseling breastfeeding mothers on exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months, having a healthy diet with six food groups herself, but also once the child turns six months of age to start complementary feeding using a variety of locally available food groups. So you can see behind me are all these fantastic women and men who are volunteers devoting their time to tackle malnutrition in their respective villages. And they work very closely with the health service um, health surveillance assistant and the village heads in case they come across problems and this also helps them to refer all the cases to the nearby health facilities in case there are complications in pregnancy or if a child is extremely malnourished. They use this tape called the uh, MUAC tape which they use when they go from door to door and they use this to find out whether a child is severely acutely malnourished and if the child falls in the red category, then they are referred to the health facility. But if they fall in the green or the yellow category, then they counsel them on proper hygiene practices and proper dietary practices. Um, what you can also see behind me are food dishes that have been prepared using locally available ingredients. For example, they've used sweet potato leaves and tomato and groundnut flour. Um, and they use fish and beans and fruit, everything that is locally available to enrich the diets of mothers and children because they're really keen to reduce malnutrition in their villages.